Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I am sitting here bare-faced, nothing on my skin but my skincare, so that can only mean one thing. Also, hint, hint, I have some cold brew here because we are getting ready together this morning. So I have a bunch of makeup here, um, some new products, and just some favorites of mine that I've been using pretty much every single day. As I've shared with you guys in previous videos, I have my go-to makeup products and this is pretty much it lately. And I also am sharing with you guys a brand new, no foundation needed SPF combo today that I've been using for literally probably the past two months, month or two, I wanna say. This is a brand new skincare brand that I'm bringing on to Skin Truth, and I am obsessed with this SPF combo, so you're gonna see it in action today. So let's get ready together today. Grab your makeup, grab some coffee, and let's just get ready for the day together here. Before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Subscribe, join our Skin Truth YouTube family here, where we are all on this journey together. I have been in the skincare business now for over 12 years and I'm sharing with you all my tips, tricks on how to get your best skin. I am just shy of 43 years old, 43 years old in a couple days. Um, and my skin is better now than it was when I was 20 years old. So I am sharing all of the best tips with you guys. So subscribe and then also head on over to my Instagram family because I'm over there pretty much every single day with more skincare fun, skincare tips, mom life, just behind the scenes everyday life. So join me over there as well. And let's dive in. Let's get ready together today, you guys. I have some good stuff to share with you. So let's start out obviously with my no foundation foundation. So I have nothing on my skin, like I said, just skincare. So this is how I would finish my skincare for the day anyway, with an SPF, always SPF every single day. And you guys know I am all about wearing no foundation. So I love my SPFs that can double as foundation. And I have this new combo that I am just so, so in love with. And I will share more on this new brand that I'm bringing on to Skin Truth. I'll do like a whole video on it very shortly because I'm just now launching this brand. And it's an amazing brand. You guys will absolutely love it. It is the brand Illumiere MD. And I will dive into way more in depth, you know, in that video. But it is a newer to the market medical grade skincare brand. It just launched in 2020. It is a clean brand. There is just really good ingredients, really amazing formulations, super like high technology anti-aging. So what I'm sharing with you guys today is their SPF. And this is the one I've been using. It's their Moisture Matte Tinted SPF. It comes in a couple different shade options. So I've been using this and mixing it with my Color Science Flex, which you guys know is my go-to. But I love the Illumiere MD. This is a more matte formula, which I have more oily skin. So I have been, like I said, I've been using this for the past like at least month, probably two months by now, <laughs> all my time runs together, but I love this. Like it makes your skin look so amazing. And then of course, mixing with my Color Science Flex, it is just like so perfection to my skin. So this is the combo I'm using today. I'm gonna use the Flex in Medium, and I'm just gonna take some of that right onto my finger, and then I'm gonna take the Illumiere MD, and this is the shade Sand. So that's the color I'm using of this, and I'm just gonna literally put it right on top of the Color Science Flex. I'm gonna mix those two together. And the Illumiere MD actually is very similar in terms of um, they come out white, and then the pigment little spheres in them kind of burst as you apply them to your skin. The Illumiere MD is very, very similar to the Color Science Flex in that way. Um, but the Illumiere will give you more of that matte finish. So if you have more oily skin or like normal to oily, or even like somebody with dry skin because it's not drying to your skin at all, but somebody who likes more of just like a matte finish. Like some people don't want that like natural or they don't want a glowy finish. So something with more of like that more matte but not drying finish, the Illumiere MD, I'm just like obsessed, like obsessed with. So that has been my secret SPF combo that if you guys have followed me on Instagram, I've been like teasing you guys about because I've been wearing it for so long and I just could not wait to launch this brand. I've been working with this brand for a couple of months now. And again, I will dive into 
the details of this brand, but oh, you guys, I am obsessed, like in love. It's just such an amazing, amazing brand. And the combination of those two SPFs together is so good. And I always then get a little bit more and I obviously go down like my neck and chest too. Got to get that SPF everywhere. Don't leave out the neck and chest. So then what I do is I just take a clean beauty sponge and I always just kind of go over my SPF and just make sure it's all blended in like the edges and all of that. I push it up like in my hairline, you know, kind of like you would do with the foundation, but you're just kind of blending in and making sure that SPF is all blended. Look at that. Look at that like perfected skin now. I am telling you this SPF combo, oh, I love it. It is like a good, um, I would say the Illumiere MD is coverage wise, very similar to the Flex. It does provide coverage and leaves your skin flawless. So that is my little SPF, no foundation needed combo for today. And I just, I've been dying to share that with you guys because I know you'll be obsessed with this too. All right, so the only thing I quickly did off camera was I added a little brow powder to my brows. I do microblading, so my brows are there. I always just take a little powder over top of them. So I did that quickly, and now I'm going to move on to the eyes. Um, the first thing I always do is I prime my eyelids. And I take the MAC Painterly, which is their paint pot, and it's like a really, really perfect eye primer color. And it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a pinky peach. And it just blends into your eyelids so perfectly. So it primes them, takes away any discoloration, holds your eyeshadow in place. And even on days that I don't put any eyeshadow on, I still always use this every single day just to kind of like even everything out. So it's my go-to. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, I am pulling this Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette out. I bought this during the Sephora VIB sale. I told you guys it's the only thing I bought during that sale because I was so like in love with the colors. I mean, these are so me. Everything about this palette is like me. So I bought this um, and honestly, I'm not that in love with it. I'm gonna share with you guys today anyway so you guys can see. I mean, I know some people love it. Some people don't like it. Some people do. I don't know. I see so many mixed reviews on it. I personally, don't love it. The mattes are amazing, but the shimmer shades are just like blah. They really do nothing for the eye. And um, honestly, the Makeup by Mario brand, I've just been, it's been like a, it's always like a letdown for me. I've tried a bunch of different things from his brand and every single time, except for those lip, uh, like lip balm glossy things, those are so good. Everything else I've tried from this brand, I've just been like, uh, like just let down. And that's kind of how I feel about this palette too. But I am going to use this today so I can um, share it with you guys because I did get a lot of questions in regards to, you know, how this really works. So I'll share with you guys my thoughts. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to take, what, what do I want to do today? I'm going to use this like cool tone brown over here and that's the thing too the shades are really um like dusty they kick up a lot of powder so when you're using them you will notice that you like dab your brush and like it just kicks up so much which i honestly don't mind but you'll notice when you're using the shimmery shades that during the day they just like fall onto your cheeks like they just i don't know they're just very I don't know what the right word is, powdery? <laughs> uh, that's just that's just my two cents, but I'm gonna use this matte shade in the crease. And again, the mattes are pretty. Like there's nothing wrong with the mattes. Those are nice, it's just, the, it's just the shimmer. So I'm gonna use that in the crease. I'm gonna take the shimmer shade that's right next to it, super pretty. This is the one I've used a couple times now. And you would think it would just like leave more like, I don't know, like oomph to your eye, if that makes sense. And I'm loading it up right now. So this is definitely gonna fall onto my cheeks later. Okay, do you see um, kind of what I'm talking about so far? Just the shimmer on my eyelid is just kind of like blah. It's just, it doesn't stand out to me like at all. I, I'm like still just like mind boggled by 
it looks matte to me. It's so weird. Um, but let's continue. So I'm just going to take a darker brown shade right here, another matte shade, and I'm just going to kind of deepen up this outer part here. Just take it into the crease a little bit. And even this brown shade, like I've used this one a couple times now, it's super, super dark. You would think it would actually have more pigment to it, but this shade in the mattes, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't put down like a lot of color, which again, could be a good thing or a bad thing because sometimes I like to build up a little bit without putting like so much color on. But this one is just like, it takes a lot to kind of like build up. And it, I don't know, I'm just not, as you can tell, the biggest fan of this palette. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think too. Cause like I said, I know it was very popular and I know a lot of people bought it cause it looks so pretty, but is not my favorite. Okay, so we'll leave the eyes there for now. Let's move on to happier topics of concealer. <laughs> this is my go-to, go-to concealer combination. If you are more mature skin, you are going to absolutely want this. This is the best concealer combination for anyone of any age, but as we get older, it is way harder to find concealers that do not make us look older. Most of the time, they sink into little lines and wrinkles, they crease, they cake up, you look in the mirror, later in the afternoon after you, you know, you've worn your concealer for a couple hours and you're just like, ah, like, no, it makes you look 20 years older. So these two are a combination that I use every single day. They not only keep your under eyes looking flawless and young all day, they do not crease, they do not cake up, they do not sink into little lines and wrinkles, they keep your under eye flawless, but they are good for your under eye and they actually have amazing anti-aging skincare benefits. So you just can't go wrong. The first thing I do is I apply my Color Science Total Eye. This is the three in one. It's a concealer, it's an eye cream, it's an anti-aging you know, primer for concealer. It's You can use it in so many different ways. Like when I'm going to the gym, I only apply this. Oh, and it's your SPF. Did I just completely forget that? It's an SPF, it's a mineral SPF of 35. So you are not only protecting the under eye with the best anti-aging SPF, but you're color correcting and concealing at the same time. So this is always my first step to getting the flawless protected under eyes. Now I'm using that in the shade medium. That comes in a couple different shade options. Um, and then I just take it with a dry beauty sponge and I just blend it in. So like I said, you can use this alone as your concealer. It's just a light coverage. So I do use this as my concealer. Like I said, if I'm going to the gym, if I'm just like running errands and just really, you know, I, I don't care like if I have insane coverage under my eyes or anything. You can see what that did to my under eyes. It's so perfect for like every day. So you can completely use this alone as your SPF and concealer, but I'm gonna share with you guys my like go-to flawless, flawless concealer for the under eyes because I use this every single day because I just love what it does to my under eyes. And it's the Oxygenetics Concealer. And I shared this with you since the first day it was released. I was so excited about this because I have worked with Oxygenetics for years now and I love their products. So they have a foundation and it's truly, truly the only foundation out there that's actually skincare and foundation. You guys, I can't even tell you how many people have come to me and said, that their skin has improved just from using that foundation because it truly is skincare, but it has like insane, amazing coverage too. Like it's made for rosacea and acne prone skin to, you know, even everything out. Like it's freaking amazing. So they recently came out with this concealer and I was all over it. I was so excited about this. They were, you know, talking to me about this concealer before it even launched. And I was, like I said, I just couldn't wait. So when they launched it, I had very, very high hopes and it did not let me down in the slightest. It is just as good as the foundation. It gives you insane coverage, but it also like, just makes you look flawless. Like I said, it does not crease, doesn't cake up, keeps your under eyes looking young and just takes away darkness and evens everything out and it looks like skin. It does not look like makeup. So that is what I am all about. So I just take a little bit because honestly this 
you know, comes out like a pump, but a little bit goes a long way. And what I do is I actually apply it with my finger first because just like the foundation, if you're using the Oxygenetics foundation, if you apply that foundation with your um, with your hands, this is so hard to do with long fingernails. I just got my nails done and I got them long again. Um, when you use the foundation and if you use that with your hands, you are gonna get full coverage. If you use it with a beauty sponge, you're gonna get medium coverage. So it's very easy to kind of you know work with it and you get the coverage that you want. It's the same with this concealer. So if you take it and you dab it in first with your finger, you will see that it is full flawless coverage. And then I take a beauty sponge and kind of just lightly go over, just like kind of the lash line area. And then I just kind of, you know, make sure it's all dabbed in. But look at this eye compared to this one with just the color science on. You can see such a difference. This has flawless coverage. And you guys, it looks like skin. It literally does not look like makeup at all. So oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so there is the concealer under both eyes. You can see just how flawless that makes your under eyes. So we're gonna set everything under my eyes. Some people set this concealer, some people don't. I personally just always like to set with a little bit of powder and if you're using the right powder, it's never gonna look powdery or dry. My two go-tos for my under eye that I pretty much switch up all the time because I love both of these are the Osmosis Beauty, the Voila Finishing Loose Powder. I use this in the shade Translucent under my eyes or I will use the Derma Blend, the Illuminating Banana Powder but it's not banana powder because I hate banana powder. It's super yellow, it makes me look jaundiced. But this Derma Blend one is more of like a beigey yellow that just is so beautiful and just brightening to the under eye. Like I love how this makes our under eye look. So I will use one on each eye. You can tell me which one you like the best. I'll start with the Derma Blend and I'll pick up some of that. And I will just take it right up under the eye. And again, this does not look dry or cakey or powdery. I just take a little bit of this powder and it just perfects the under eye so beautifully. So that is the Derma Blend uh, Illuminating Banana Powder on this side. And then I will take some of the Translucent Osmosis Powder and we will apply that under this eye. Like I said, you can't go wrong with either one of these powders for the under eye. They are both so beautiful. So there you have the osmosis and then the derma blend. Okay, we're gonna finish off the under eye. I'm just gonna take, um, let's take a little bit. Um, let's take a little bit. I'm gonna take that cool brown shade and I'm just gonna smoke that out under my eye just to finish off the whole eye look. And I have lash extensions, so I don't need mascara. And for bronzer, I'm gonna use the 100% Pure. This is the Coco Pigmented Bronzer in the shade Coco Kissed. This is a good, amazing, clean makeup brand, and I love their bronzers. I think there's three different shades. This, I believe, is the middle one, and it just matches me perfectly right now. So it's just one of my go-tos that I really love. So I'm gonna use this today, and I'm just going to pick up some of this bronzer and we're just gonna sweep it all over. My go-to in the summer bronze uh, bronzer was the Osmosis Voila Powder in Deep. That was like the perfect bronzer for me in the summer. I use it every single day, but it's just a little bit too dark for me right now because I am pretty light right now. So I had to switch up bronzers a little bit and this 100% pure one has been like a favorite of mine for literally years. I still love it. It gives such a good like warmth to the skin, but not um, not like an orangey warmth or it's not too cool either. It's just like perfect. Okay, so that is the bronzer. Then I'm just gonna take a clean brush and I just kind of go over everything because sometimes I get a little bronzer happy and I can like go a little overboard. So I always just go over with a powder brush and just kind of blend that all in. Then for blush, I am using this little Fit Glow Beauty cheek palette, which I love. I use this all the time. Oh my gosh, it's the prettiest colors and you guys know I love cream blushes. Look at this palette. It's like gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And Fit Glow Beauty is a brand that I carry and it's all clean, all good for your skin makeup. Like very, very just clean ingredients. I love this brand. So this is the cheek palette we are going to pop on today. I think I'm gonna use two shades. I'm gonna take the nudie beige shade first that looks like this. And I'm going to apply that first. And let's just 
kind of blend that on. I always take this shade and I kind of go up and around. That's just like such a perfect nude. All right, then I wanna take some of this peachy color right here, cause it's just so beautiful and it gives like your like center cheeks just like this little pop. So I'm gonna take this and I do like to apply this with my finger first and I apply them like right where I want them and then I blend them in. I just feel like they go on better when I use my finger to put them on my skin. So I'm gonna use that and then I'm gonna take kind of like a flat kabuki brush I'm just going to blend that right on the apples of my cheek. It just like brightens up and just livens up your cheeks. I love that color just like right there in the center. Okay, so there is the cheek colors. You can see how beautiful they are. Like I said, I love them. They will stay on your skin forever. They just give your skin just such a natural look and I love them. So I'm going to take the Osmosis Pressed Base Powder now. I'm using the shade Natural Dark and this is just my go-to. I set everything down the T-zone and I just kind of like go over, not really the cheek area because that doesn't really budge or anything. I just kind of go over the T-zone because I just like to set, this keeps your makeup just flawless and it just kind of sets everything to perfection. So I always, always use that powder. And pretty much we are done. I just have to finish up the lips. So I'm gonna use the makeup, uh, not the makeup by Mario, the Wayne Goss lip liner, because this is the best lip liner of life. Wayne Goss is a makeup brand that never disappoints, unlike a makeup by Mario. Um, the Wayne Goss brand is just so good. And his lip liner in the shade, um, which one is this? I used too much of the pencil. I took off the name of the pencil. So I will list it down below for you guys, but it is my go-to go to lip liner for a perfect nude lip. So I'm going to lightly line. And then to finish everything off, I'm gonna take my City Lips lip gloss, which I've shared with you guys nonstop, is some of the best lip glosses ever. They will plump your lip lines. They give you just like the smoothest, most amazing looking lips. And as you get older, you know how your lips tend to become more dehydrated. They kind of start to shrivel up. They become, you know, they get little lines and wrinkles, just all of that. This really takes all of that away. I could not recommend these anymore. I'm going to use the shade Tokyo Kiss today. And I'm going to apply this all over. Now, these have good coverage, too. Like, I never wear lipsticks. I just wear these glosses. And I love that. I personally don't like to feel like a lot on my lips, so I have not been wearing lipsticks hardly at all, just really sticking to glosses. And with what this does to your lips, like you don't need anything else. I'm just in love. They have multiple different shades. I have many of them. And there you have it. That is the final look for today using some of my favorite go-to products except for the eyeshadow palette, which is not my go-to, it is not my favorite, but I did wanna share it with you guys so you can see you know, a good up close look at, you know, why it's not my personal favorite. And for, you know, other people, it could be your favorite. So I just want to share with you, you know, so you can see firsthand what it looks like and how it goes on. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today. I will list all the products that I use down below. Just open up the description box. As always, there'll be links for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more Get Ready With Me videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up so I know you enjoy this type of content. And I think that's it for today, guys. I love you all. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.